Darlene is my younger sister, and the last time I saw her was well over a year ago. Not being able to see my nephew in person is like, um, it makes me sad. So imagine instead of looking at a screen, you're looking at a magic pane of glass. And through that glass, you're seeing another person on the other side. Hi, can you see me? Say hi to Auntie. Oh my gosh, I love you. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> so you look beautiful. And then you just start having a conversation, just like you would if you were physically together. Like, I feel like you're here. This is wild. I can see that curl in your hair. I can see how your sweater is falling. Yeah. <laughs> but then you'll be saying, put on a little lipstick, Maury. <laughs> there are really three breakthroughs coming together here. One is the ability to capture people as they are. The second is the ability to compress that information and send it over existing networks efficiently. And the third is the ability to render that person viewable through a three-dimensional display. So it really feels like you're talking with someone right in front of you. <laughs> we see this as a first step in applying technology to solve that really important problem that we often want to be together and we can't. Don't say goodbye, don't go away. That was mind blowing. I've seen a lot, but I've never seen this. I felt like she was present and I felt like I was present in that moment too. It was like she was here.